Is golf a favorite hobby of yours? Do you want to be able to wake up every day and see a golf course? Then stick around, because today we're gonna talk about the best golf course communities in Myrtle Beach. What's happening guys, it's Jeremy Blanton with Remax Southern Shores and today we're gonna discuss golf on the Grand Strand. As you know, we have tons of golf courses here in the area and there are plenty of homes that are available on those golf courses. I myself, I love to get out and hit the little white ball around in the grass. I'm what they call a professional army golfer. You know what that is? I go left, right, left, right, all the way down to the hole. Though I'm not very good at it, Golf is something that I really enjoy doing, getting out and seeing some of the beautiful things here in Myrtle Beach and enjoying the amazing weather that we have here in our area. So today, we're gonna discuss some top golf courses here in the area and I broke these down into sections of the beach. We're gonna talk first about those up on the northern end, then we'll go down, talk about some down south, head out west towards Conway and talk about a few there, and then finish up right here in Myrtle Beach where some of the greatest golf courses in all of the area seem to be. All right, so we're gonna start today by talking about golf courses on the northern end of the beach, and we're gonna start in Barefoot Resort. So there are four different golf courses in the Barefoot area. There's the Norman, the Love, the Fazio, and the Die, which is a private golf course. Now what's great about the whole Barefoot community is that you have a mixture of property that's there. There's condominiums, there's townhomes, there's high rises, and then there's single family homes that were built by some of the national builders, and then also custom homes. So there is a huge array of property in the area for you to choose from. One of the things that always held me back from going to Barefoot foot was that there was only one easy way in and out but several years back they fixed that by opening up a back entrance off of water tower road so you don't have to go over the drawbridge into north myrtle beach to get into the development you can get in off of highway 31 and skip all of the traffic of north myrtle beach the next golf course that I wanted to talk about is Tidewater Plantation, all the way up on the northern end of the beach. This is an amazing complex that has a great golf course in there and a full 24-hour guard-gated entrance into the development. Just like Barefoot, there are condominiums, there are townhouses, and there are single-family homes that you can use here in this development. The other thing that's great about this development is that there are tons of other things to do if you're not into golf. There are tennis courts, bocce ball, pools, fitness centers, and so much more, as well as an oceanfront cabana that you can go over and use in Cherry Grove. All right, so now that we talked about the northern, we're going to head down south. We're going to go to Surfside and down through Pauly's Island and even into Georgetown with these great golf communities. The first one that I wanted to talk about is Blackmore. Blackmore is a great community that is made up of condominiums, townhouses, and single-family homes just like some of the other ones that we've talked about. This course was designed by Gary Player and features custom homes all along the fairways. There is a lot of great things to do in this neighborhood in addition to just golf. There is tennis courts, there's a pool, playgrounds, and so many other things that you can do in this great neighborhood. Homes here are gonna range from about the mid 200s up through the mid to upper 400s. While we're in Merle's Inlet, let's go over to Prince Creek. This is on the TPC course, and there are some great homes, condos, townhouses, and so many other things, just like all of these other developments. Homes in this area are gonna start around 150 and go all the way up into the seven digit range on some of the properties that are available. So there's definitely a wide array of properties to pick from here. So next we're gonna go to the one that is the furthest south on our list, and that is in Georgetown, and that is Debadoo. Debadoo is an exclusive community with just above and beyond, taking you into this whole nother realm when you get into this development. It's a great golf course with this amazing clubhouse and a private beach access just for the people who live in the development. Homes here are going to be some of the most exquisite homes that you'll ever see. And you can expect if you go here to open up your wallet because while some of the homes might be in the 700s, you could easily spend well over a million in this development. So we're gonna head a little north now to Pauly's Island and go to Pauly's Plantation. This is a great community that appeals to not only the golfers, 
but also to those of you that may not be golf as a priority number one. Maybe tennis is something you enjoy doing, and here they have some great tennis clubs that you can join and be a part of. They have tournaments there and so many other activities in this community on a regular basis. The golf course was built by Jack Nicholas, and it's going to feature some great homes in between some mature landscaping and mature trees. Property values here are going to be about two fifty dollars up into about the $800,000 range. Next, we're going to go to Wachasaw Plantation, which is up heading north again, back up towards Myrtle Beach. And this is a guard gated community once again with single family homes, condos, townhouses, and a lot of opportunities for people to buy a home in it on a golf course. It's located close to Brook Green Gardens, and this private golf course features homes starting around the 300s, going up to a Mecca right now for sale for over 1.7 million. And the last one on the list of the southern end is Prestwick Golf Course. Prestwick is another place with a guard gated entrance where it gives you that nice level of security for you that may not live in it as your primary residence. It's great to know that when you're not here, somebody is making sure that strangers aren't coming into the development. This development has condominiums, townhouses, and single family homes once again, and they're going to start in the 250s and go well up to over 700,000 as well. So now that we talked about golf courses on the southern end, let's head out west to Conway. We're going to talk about some great, amazing courses in that area. The first one that I wanted to talk about is Forest Lake Estates. Forest Lake Estates sits on Burning Ridge Golf Course and has a lake on the other side of it as well. These are custom built homes that were started back in the 80s and they're going to be some of the larger homes in the Conway area. Homes here are really popular with people because they're close to the Conway Medical Center and also close to our local colleges. So the professors and doctors really enjoy having these homes because it's a quick commute to work for them. Next, let's talk about South Creek. South Creek is a community at Myrtle Beach National Golf Course. It was designed by Arnold Palmer and features 54 championship holes in the area. Homes in this area are going to start in the $200,000 range and go up to around the $400 range. And the final golf course that I want to talk about in our west section is Wild Wing Plantation. Homes in this area have some of the best amenities in Conway. There is a clubhouse, there's community pools, there's an 80 foot water slide, tennis courts, pickleball, so many things for you to do on a regular basis. People really enjoy this development as well because just like Forest Lake Estates, it's close to the university and Conway Medical Center. Homes here are gonna start in about the $200,000 range and can go well up into the six to $700,000 range. Now that we talked about golf course communities out west, let's head towards Myrtle Beach. And the first one that I wanna talk about is just a quick ride down 501 Legends Golf Course. Legends is a great community that has a guard gated entrance just like some of our other ones on the list. And it features once again, some condominiums, some townhouses, and some single family homes in here. It's a great community. There's a driving range there that you can go and hit balls as well as so many other things to do. Homes in here are gonna start in the mid 300s and go up probably to about five to 600,000. One of my favorite parts of Legends Golf Course that I got to experience a lot when my parents lived back in there is the nice long drive that you have to get back in. While you're nice and close to 501 and easy access to get around the beach, it's far enough back in that you're away from all the hustle and bustle. Located right across the street from the Tanger Outlets, once you get back in the development, you would not realize that you're that close to everything happening in Myrtle Beach. So now that we talked about legend, let's head towards the ocean where I'm going to four different communities here in the area. So the first community that I wanted to talk about is Plantation Point. This is located right off of 38th Avenue inside Myrtle Beach and is a quick drive over to the ocean, which makes this neighborhood super popular with people moving to the area. It also has homes that sit on the waterway and the golf course that these homes sit on is Myrtlewood Golf Course. Homes here are going to start around 500,000 and go up well over a million. The second golf course that I want to talk about inside city limits is Pine Lakes, otherwise known as the Granddaddy. This golf course was started in 1927, hence why it got its name the Granddaddy, because it is probably one of the oldest golf courses in the area. Homes in this development are going to start in the mid 200s and can go well up to over a million dollars. 
What's great about this development as well is that it's close to everything Myrtle Beach has to offer. It's situated in between 17 Business and 17 Bypass, right in the heart of Myrtle Beach. Here's a little unknown fact of sports history that you may have never heard before, but the ultimate sports digest. The biggest magazine in sports history, Sports Illustrated, was actually started at the clubhouse in the Granddaddy Pine Lakes Golf Course. The third golf course inside city limits that we're going to talk about today is one that we've referred to in the past when we talked about great waterway communities, and that is the Grand Dunes. The Grand Dunes has a great golf course on the west side of the waterway, which is actually inside the city limits of Myrtle Beach, but it features some of the most luxurious amenities and homes in all of the Grand Strand. There are great Mediterranean style houses that are being built here on a regular basis. If you're thinking about buying in the Grand Dunes, make sure that you have your wallet ready because it can get a little expensive. The low end prices there are going to start around $750, but on average, most things are going to cost well over a million. And the final golf course that I want to talk about inside the city limits of Myrtle Beach is the Dunes Club. The Dunes Club is located right across the street from the Carolina Opry and features homes on the Dunes courses. There's also a membership that you can join their private club and you get access to the pools, to the clubhouse, to the restaurant, and also to the great golf that Myrtle Beach has to offer. In the Dunes Club, you also have access to a section of the beach that's only going to have your neighbors at it because it's not an easy way for other people to access it. So if you're looking for that semi-private beach location inside Myrtle Beach, check out the Dunes Club. All right, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed this information today on some of the best golf course communities that Myrtle Beach and the Grand Strand has to offer. If so, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and get that bell on because you want to subscribe so that you can get more information on upcoming videos. And if you're thinking about making a move to the area, my contact information is down below. Feel free to reach out to me and I'd love to help you. Hope you guys have a great day. Catch you in the next one. See ya.